Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you've been doing well. What I have for you this evening is the beginning of a new series where I play little short horror experiences through the rest of the month of October for your viewing pleasure. Little bite-sized experiences. Horror bites, if you will. I want to assure you that we are perfectly alone here. It is just you and I, the viewer. There is no one behind me. There is no other presence in this house. I have just decided to take my setup into a hallway, perfectly inconspicuous. But I can't say for sure that there's no one with you, standing right behind you this very moment. Watching. Waiting. Anyhow, welcome to Within. We're going to jump right into this short little horror experience. We're going to see what it has to offer. So let's just start a new game. From Crook Studios. They abandoned the god who made them. They sacrificed unto demons whom they knew not. Deuteronomy 32.15. A very good passage in the good book. I guess. <laughs> I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, Ooh, voice which acting. wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. Ooh. I've gotten used to it. Well. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Hmm. Ben? Last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Okay. I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. It sounds like Rami uh, Malik. He may not hear from me again for a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but... Just a spot. Nothing I can't handle. Just a spot. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I... I do love you. Always have. Well, Goodbye, Maya. Goodbye, my brother. Perhaps we shall meet again one day. I'm a... I must have called him dozens of times, but I'm there was no looking. answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. Not as soon even as I week. landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went. Like a thing whose core was growing rotten. Hmm. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. Well, this sounds familiar. <laughs> IRL situation. Anyhow. Um, well, you know, the voice acting is actually get this over with quickly. really well done. Find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. Okay, 405. Left click on objects, okay, to interact. Copy of that. Thank you. Well, yeah, the voice acting is actually really well done for a little short... I think it's like 30 minutes or something like that. Another itch game. You definitely go check out. They have a... Uh, they have an, a, a massive selection of, of these indie horror games like this. And most of the time, they're free. You know what I mean? So. Jesus Christ, I almost died. I had a coughing fit. My spittle went down the wrong path. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyhow, as I was saying, yeah, you, they have a they have a massive selection of these things. Massive selection of these games. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Hello? Hello? A massive selection of these games on the itch. Hello, knock knock. Hello, puppy. Huh, where'd they go? There was someone just here. Hmm. Totally, they must have went into the apartment. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. Well, as I always say, uh, I don't know. Well, let's just ring the doorbell then, shall we? Brother? Knock, knock. Oh, brother, dear. We're not like one of those Folgers commercial siblings, are we? I guess he's either not home, or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Okay. Yeah, I think this is like a little 30-minute experience. Gonna be one of those things. Ugh. Gosh, what is that smell? Nick? Nick, are you here? Bad smell's probably never a good sign. Well, Nick. There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. Yeah, you'd think there would be one right inside the dam. There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. Why are you telling me this already? I know. Holy shit. How is he living like this? This is terrible. He's just a single dude. This is what all single dudes apartments look like. Would it hurt to <laughs> clean up a little? All these photos that I, that you see of like just yeah, like a bed on the floor. No furniture. TV on like a uh um on a rubber mate fucking tub, <laughs> you know. Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died, before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. Oh boy. Oh boy. How joyous. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. Oh. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We moved is in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. Yeah. Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Mm -hmm. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? What is he doing to himself? Okay. Once I find him, I'm going to have to see about getting him some real food while I'm here. I do appreciate the voice acting. It's good. And like I said, uh, you know, they didn't definitely didn't have to go, go that route for a little 30-minute experience. But I don't like clicking on things and... I don't like clicking on things and having to pause because, you know, I got to listen to them talk. The first thing I'm going to help him do is clean this well, place let me up. Move. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. There was a, uh, a demo for a game I played not that long ago. It's not going up on the channel because it was uh, it wasn't wasn't great. But it was the same sort of situation. The dude had something to say about every little thing that I touched. Let's see. Do not open. Go back. <laughs> right. Like, this is going to keep me out. Knock, knock. Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. Don't think that's going to work. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Yeah, just fucking kick it in. You know? Give it a kick. Solid thump. Okay, I can't really interact with any drawers or anything like that, so... Anything else in your bathroom, Nicholas? Hmm. Brother, dear, brother of mine? No. Okay. Well, I don't have a flashlight either. Socks. Pizza box. I think I just plate. lost my appetite. Did you, did, let's see. Chips, sodas. It's like literally nothing. Cigarette butts. Or sodas. Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, oh Nick. We got booze. I sometimes think if he hadn't booze had that help. accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16. 
driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. So he feels responsible then, huh? Drinking then too. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. Yeah. He was drunk out of his mind. Well. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. So he just continues to drink. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. Well, <clears throat> you know, never, uh, never abandon your loved ones whenever they need you the most. Although, you know, dealing with alcoholism and things like that. Oh. Hello? Hi, like what? Nick, I, are you in there? Quit playing. Lights flickering, doors opening on their own. Jeez. Oh boy. Hello? Hello? You know. How did this door open? This is always a good sign. It's a very good sign. There's got to be a light switch somewhere. Yes, I know, woman. Ooh. Whoa. Well, at least I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? Morbidium. Infiltrator 3. Man, he really likes Morbidium, doesn't he? I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. <laughs> occult? <laughs> and occult stuff? Occult, huh? Who unlocked it? Definitely not occult. Occult stuff. That's funny. I don't know why that made me laugh. I shouldn't make fun of him. Just funny. Occult. Occult. Those damn occultists. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. Maybe so. I guess in English, probably. This looks days old. Isn't her first language, but it sounds well <laughs> like it is. I wonder if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school, formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. It's other stuff. This looks like black metal, not death metal. I don't know. What do I know? Now, let's see. He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. Okay, do you have to freeze every time I click on something? Alright. I should turn on this computer. Okay, yes, turn it on. Give it a push. Ah, it's a nice rig you got there, buddy. Ooh, I like it. Main processor and cell A alcohol. USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. Short, shortenly. Aha. This could be it. I found a USB drive. Random drawer junk. Nothing useful. Cool. Anything in this drawer junk? Nope. Nothing useful here. Just some. Well, at least it wasn't nudie mags, right? God damn, what am I, 90 nudie mags? Alright, USB drive. What we got? Sandbox OS. Safety, security, anonymity. The three S's. Is... The two S's in an A. I apologize. <laughs> Play log one. I finally got it all set up. The Sandbox OS, a secure, heavily modded Linux variant running as a VPC, and the game contained within. This may be overkill, but it's better to be cautious considering the urban legend around this game. A single EXE file, not very cleverly, cleverly named, no instructions. To think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web. Ah, the dark web. Okay, of course. Things I had to trawl through to find it. Things I don't think I can ever unsee. I don't have much hope for humanity anyway. We're broken beyond redemption. I'll continue taking notes in these text files. If this game is the real deal, I can later use them to compose a, a post documenting my journey for the r slash occult subreddit. Boy, you, you, you are a cliche on top of a cliche, huh? Anyway, first things first. I have to get the game to work. It keeps crashing when I click it. The lore says that it works at random. You just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupt. Stories about the game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, a guy who played it. Uh huh. Okay. Let's get. 
It says keep clicking, right? Two clicks. That's all it takes. Fucking hands of God over here. Alright. Oh boy. A game within a game. Very meta. Holy shit. Oh. Well, let's see what's within this game, shall we? I'm just looking for my brother, but I'm going to stop and play a, a fucking video game on his computer. Why not, right? Hope you don't mind, bro. Hopefully you didn't have a, you know, a, a save. That I'm, uh... Ooh. Intestines. This isn't sc This isn't scary. This isn't scary at all. Because, I mean, after all... I am playing a game within a game. So that kind of adds an extra layer of shielding. Doesn't it? Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Intestines, demons... You know... The usual for these types of things. I'm just as good at video games within video games as I am without video games. <laughs> within video games. Within, literally, and without. Meaning, I'm not very good at them. Alright, let's see. Oh, hello! Precisely, my thoughts exactly. I wonder what he's saying. It sounds reversed. I'll have to play it backwards whenever I'm editing. See if I can make anything out. Probably thanks for playing my game, you fucking asshole. Some shit like that. Ooh, a maze. Oh, boy. I love mazes. Not really. Mazes filled with intestines from the occult that left him behind. It was the occult this entire time. The occult and their procedures disemboweling people, leaving piles and piles of this shit. Hello. Hello. Aha. More backward speech. Oh, hi. Was that Nick? Are you stuck in the game? Are you stuck within the game? How can I help you, brother? Uh, uh fuck. My game crashed, of course. Hate Wait, when that happens. That file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Which one? Got it to run. First impressions. A creepy, grainy, pixelated PS2 era style walking sim. And it is definitely inundated with a lot of those. The game's unstable. Crashed four times already. Good thing I sandboxed it. It's chewing up files and randomly spitting them back out. No credits, no title screen, no save, load. It was hard to find. So many fake leads and BS. I would have given up sooner had I not believed there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident. Following an anon link to a file dump on an Onion server, I found it amidst cryptically named zip archives, many of them full of unspeakable images. The myth of the game, which I had pieced together, sifting through volumes of shit posts for bits of truth, suggests that only one copy can exist at a time, and that it allows itself to be found by those whom it selects. Their story is that it was not created by human hands, that it was birthed whole in the fil filth of the dark web, a digital abomination conceived and formed in the womb of humanity's most depraved impulses. So like a digital telpa. Okay, well, I mean, I, I can get behind it, whatever, you know. I like, you know, I like the idea of a digital tulpa, a digital spectre, if you will, ghost within the machine. As I spend hours digging into this, the old compulsions are inexorably returning. Dark thoughts, guilt, a desperate craving for alcohol. It's impossible to resist. The symbols and the graffiti are pre-Sumerian, suggesting an ancient entity, possibly a greater demon. Perhaps most disturbing of all this is the notion that it can... Okay. Can I... Whoop. I still got... I gotta go back in, huh? Okay. Alright, well, going back in, I guess. We'll try again. Where does this leave me this time? Oh, hello. Picking right back. Well, let's see. 
Vom shim, vom shim. Yeah. Apparently it does have some kind of save system, right? Oh, flum schlup. Blum, flum schlup. Oh, shim, hi, shim. Alright, let's see now. Where do we go in here? What door did you unlock for me this time? This one, I presume. Ooh. Red eyes. Oh, hello. In the dark, in the distance. Climbing, traversing over mountains of intestines and flesh. Oh. Oh. What the hell is this? Are these ev- Nick. I saw the people that have played the video game. Oh. God damn it. I'm pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there. But that makes no sense. Perhaps you should not be- I've got to get this game going again. No, it's not a good idea. Maybe you should stop playing the fucking game. Doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, let's see. Looks like it's crashed. Oh boy, okay. Oh, look. Boop. Jeez, ah! that scared me. <laughs> Just the lights. Uh, <laughs> the electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building. The electrics. Bubby. Buddy. Bubby. I said Bubby like I was talking to my son. <laughs> I can't leave just yet. I need to find <laughs> I meant Nick. I to say Buddy, but I, but I called for my son. Bubby. Call him Bubby. Bubu or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking at him on the uh, baby monitor as we speak, so he's, he's snoozing. I just... Uh, <laughs> I got, I got a little confused. All right, buddy, I meant to say, your uh, your electrics—they're all screwy, my dude. Like, get some ambiance going, you know. We'll go turn off the lights in there. I like your room though, man. It's nice. I wish I had a, wish I had an office, you know. Like I'm just playing out in the hallway, so that's nice. All right, let's jump back in, shall we? Log five. Where's four? Where's two? Getting worse. Growing signs of malevolence. Waking nightmares. Oppressive thoughts. General malaise and, and a tense craving for self-defilement. Weird sounds from the other room. Voices. Footsteps. Shifting shadows. An hour ago, the webcam turned on by itself and took a pick. It was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Bail Nagin. A.K.A. the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the entry from Deacon. Perhaps the only demonology wiki with some authenticity. A greater demon from pre-biblical times, first worshipped by the Lagani sect in then Samaria. Requires human sacrifice. Feeds on fatalism, guilt, and grief. Manifests in the recurring nightmares of killers. In the lust, regret cycles of serial sex offenders in the dying few of dead men walking, in the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims, in the PTSD of war survivors, in the haunting dread of good people gone irrevocably wrong, a vile, parasitical being that consumes those who it selects. The simplicity of the game is almost certainly deliberate. The pattern of the symbols, piles of refuse and filth, the writings on the scrolls, all of it, suggests an invocation ritual. Have I made a terrible mistake? What am I awakening in the deep dark? The game is trying to... Well, buddy, the Bobail Nagin there doesn't sound like the, uh... doesn't sound like the... the best and most friendliest of demons. If I know anything about demons. Um... But... Sounds like you're dealing with a demon of guilt and grief because of your guilt and grief. <laughs> ah, and we're back. Within the fleshy pits of wherever this is. Oh no, don't start saying my name. I'm not guilty here. I guess guilty of abandoning my brother? I. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, let's go down the hall where the shadow figure was. Uh, that's kind of spooky. Ah, of course. This is exactly where I want to be. Exactly what I want to see. 
another. Oh. What am I playing? Slender now? One of four collected. Ah, yes. The demon tablets. Of course, we must collect the demon tablets. One of four. Else we get. Tagged by Slender Man, I guess. I, I don't know. It just reminds me of Slender, right? Can I get all four? Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> I'm speaking a lot. I'm rambling. I apologize. I'm nervous, okay? It happens. Sue me. Actually, don't. Aha. I wonder what that says. I wonder what he's saying. Sounds like a nice guy. Looks like... Hello? Door unlocked somewhere. Looks like a ni nice enough demon, right? Goatman. Hi. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Whatever. Not Beelzebub. 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 No, we, we, we'll stick with Beelzebub. Baphomet. I like Beelzebub better. Hi, Mr. Red Eyes. You need some Visine, my dude. You have been uh, partaking too much in the uh, sticky icky. Uh huh. Precisely, yes, my thoughts exactly. You know, you said my name normally earlier. Why are you still speaking in reverse? What is it with demons and Satan that compels them to speak backwards? I don't know. Maybe it's just fun to fuck with people. What do I know? I am not a demon, nor am I a Satanist. Let's see. I'm not a very religious man, uh, in any which way, form, or fashion. Well, yeah, just shut up, buddy. I don't have time for your demonic shenanigans anymore. I'm trying to find my brother. The fucking door is literally right next to him. I'm a fucking idiot. Sorry. Maybe if I just didn't suck at video games, I would. Hi, Nick, buddy. Help me, please. You have to help me. Trying, Nick. I'm trying, buddy. Nick. I'm scared, Maya. It's awful here. Please. Help me. Okay. Oh. Goatman. Oh, goddamn. It crashed again. That was Nick's voice. I'm sure of it. Yeah. I'm gonna get this PC going again. <laughs> yeah. Let's get... Hey, Hello? Nick. Is someone there? Nick. My, my, my brother. It's too dark in here. Yeah. I should get the lights on. That's what I'm doing. I, I, was, just, I was just trying to get a little ambiance going. Hi, Nick. Now's not the time for a shower, unless you pooped yourself or something. Did you do that? Been drinking too much? Can't control your bowels? Nobody. But that's impossible. Impossible. Demons. Trickery. Poltergeist. Spook. Spirit. <gasps> Nick. But his face. Nicholas. What is happening to me? The apparition of my brother. I should go play the video game again. You know, look at the fuck. Oh, it's changing. Oh, that's awful. How could the picture... Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry, sis. Oh, that's awful. Oh, didn't mean to cut you off again, sis. No, I did. How can the picture change like this? You know, demons, ghosts, ghouls, spectres. I can't leave just yet. That's how it changed. Ah, well, you know, I'm... I can't, I'm not going to leave the, obviously I'm not going to leave, that would be too fucking smart. I'm not going to leave, I'm just going to stay in my brother's apartment, and I am going to continue playing on his computer, because that's, you know, logical. Why not? You're seeing him outside of the game now, but, you know, I'm going to go back in and play the game some more. I'm not going to try and get help, hell no. I saw Alex today. He was here, in the apartment, standing by the far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago on a gurney in a morgue the day after the accident. His dead body, cold. 
His face split open, his eyes wide. Despite his horrific wounds and the odd angle of his neck, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning. I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident, even though I was the one drunk and driving. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There can be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her, tell her to stay put and not come looking for me. Because I know Maya. She'll look for me if she doesn't hear from me for too long. She still feels responsible for me even after all these years. Still blames herself for my failures, even though she shouldn't. If only she knew that she's the last good thing left in my life. The reason I'm alive is because she saved me a million times already. But she can't save me this time. Not from that. And I can't let her get hurt. If she, he comes here... Well, bro... Looks like I'm here, pal. And we're sticking to the game. I'm gonna click back in. We're getting back in this. Baby. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hello. We are back. Shall I knock on the door? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. No. Can't. I'm trapped. Hey. Nagin. Bail. Mr. Uh, guilt. Demon of guilt and stuff. Uh, how about you, uh, you know, open the gate, my dude. I'm, I'm here. I'm guilty. Um, so let's just cut the fucking preamble here and just, you know... Ooh, three or four. Got one more. I guess we're gonna continue the preamble. That's fine. Oh, wait. Well, I mean... You know, I don't know why I have to walk these halls in order to... to, uh... Seek pun- Bro! Uh, look man, Spider-Man 2 is out on a different platform, okay? I don't have a PlayStation 5. But you sure are crawling around like Spider-Man. Alright, I found the last scroll. For the demon. Alright. Alright, buddy. Hey, and bail. I'm coming to party, buddy. Let's uh, let's do this. Ah, the Grim Reaper. Oh wait, no, it's just you, dude. Just have to say, I dig the uh, I'm digging the outfit. I dig the style. I love the horns. Looks great. Goddamn, I'm gonna have to restart this fucking computer a million. What the hell was that? That was Bale. <gasps> hey. Nick, wait, Nick. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we should uh, totally hang out. You know. Nick, it's me, your sister. Come Nick! looking for you, Nicholas. I can't go back in there yet. I need to go after Nick. Okay, well, I mean, he's awful sprightly, isn't he? He's already out of the way. Puppy, have you seen Nick? Hello, neighbors? Sorry to disturb you. Oh, hey, Nick. Nick. Hey, buddy. Bro. Nick, stop! It's me! What are you doing? You going to the exit? Hey, you know what? That's the best idea you've had all day, Nicholas. I concur. Let us go to the exit. And, uh, be done with this place. You know? Um. Yeah. That, uh, that sounds like a, like... <laughs> what the hell? Was that Bale? I'm not going near that elevator. What the hell was that? I'm already standing next to it. That was Bale. He was, you know, taking a... Taking a dive. Taking a dive down the shaft. Nick. Which way'd you go, pal? Going down. Hopefully. I hear you. Or is this just me? No, that's him plip-plopping. Click. Yeah, it's definitely him click-clacking down the stairs. Buddy. My, hey. I'm down here. Oh, good, good, good. I was getting worried. 
Bale, how you doing, buddy? You, you, uh... You, uh, in pursuit of my brother? Or are you in pursuit of me now because I'm... You know, guilty of... Oh, God, it's dark. Of giving up on my brother whenever I shouldn't have. After our mama got sick. My... Hey. Come on. Bale? I'm waiting for you, Maya. Oh, good to know. I, Where are you? I'm in the stairwell. We're all waiting. Who's we? You and the other farm animals? Oh, hey, look, we made it. Nick, buddy, pal, brother of mine. You can't save me, Maya. You never could. Hmm. Even when we were growing up, you couldn't even protect me from myself. Whoops. The accident. Alex's death. My miserable life. All of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. Sorry, man. You Who know. are you? What have you done to my brother? Oh, it's Bale, my game. Hey, buddy. I love the look. You look great. You look great. Oh, hi. Nice to see you. You gonna trap me in a video game? Is it my turn? Can I get trapped on, like, something cool? You know, like, uh... Like, uh, Sometime later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. That's it? The fuck? It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but... Should have done that to begin with. There's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs. The thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something, or someone, stepped between us and shielded me. Ah, Nick. Brother. I think that's how I got away. It was my brother. I think Who's protecting me this time? I think it was Nick who saved me. To atone for his sins, he saved his brother. In the end, after always being saved by his sister, he saved the sister this time. The end. Very cool. I liked it. Uh, it had some cool, It had some good moments. I didn't really particularly care for the ending there because they didn't really show anyone kind of step between the two. You know, it was just kind of like, yeah, I'm in a video game. Your brother's trapped in a video game with the demon of guilt and uh, things like that. And now he's after you, Maya, because I guess you feel guilty for abandoning your brother. But, you know, Nick steps in at the last minute, shields her, and she leaves and files a missing persons report. Yeah, cool game. You know, for a little short experience, not bad, not bad at all. Maybe I'll check out some more Crux Game Studio stuff. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see what they have on the list. But for now, on to the next. Whatever that may be.